You women nowadays are always telling men that we don't want girlfriends. We want moms when we ask you to do basic women-like things for us. No, we want you to act like women in our mom's generation. You know, the women that raised us, the women that took care of their husbands, cooked for their husbands, loved their family, didn't want to go to work and abandon their kids, didn't want to party at the clubs all weekend and act like they hate men all the time. So no, we don't want moms. We want you to act like wives. Ladies, when you send us to the store, turn your ringtone on. It's not even in case we might call you, okay? We're going to call you. The potatoes aren't where you said they'd be. The guy who works here has never even heard of the hair stuff you use. And the aisle you said ketchup would be in is now cleaning supplies. Meanwhile, my wife can't go 11 seconds without scrolling on TikTok, yet every time she sends me to the store, she immediately gets into the shower after throwing her phone into the bottom of a lake. Can't get the girl to focus on a movie for an hour, but when she needs the most specific eggs they make, she cracks her phone in half and buries it like she's being tracked by the FBI. So I just gotta walk around Target like I'm studying for a chemistry test. Okay, or organic? Pasture raised regenerative and make sure none of the shells are cracked. Every time I go to the supermarket alone, they're rearranging the aisles. The section I gotta get to is always under construction. What is the manager like? Hey, let's see what the store would look like with the refrigerator section outside. Do you know how many different types of cheese they make? Then I get called a moron when I buy the wrong one. Why do they make so many different toothpastes? So men are asking women to do basic women like things for men and they are asking women to act like the women that were in their mom's era basically they are asking for traditional wives are men being traditional men i don't think so why are men so demanding why are men so incapable of doing basic household chores but they want to enslave women with household chores and they want women to do the most for them men are feeling frustrated they want women to give them the traditional wife qualities they want women to cook babysit them do their laundry shower them feed them polish their shoes probably take them to work but a lot of men struggle with going to the grocery store just to buy food that they will eat with the family at home they have no idea of how that is being done once you give them a list to go to the grocery store it's all chaos and disaster the second clip was more of a skit just showing the struggles of men when being asked to go grocery shopping by their wives let's hear what people have to say about this act like wives this man really just sat up here and said we don't want moms we just want women that act like our moms sir you're not beating these allegations okay <laughs> some of these men want the 50s and 60s housewife so bad but that's not what women want we saw right through it our mothers and our grandmothers they warned us those women weren't happy and they don't care they still feel entitled to your free labor. They want you to do it and not complain about it. And the only way for you to do that is for them to have some kind of financial control over you. Your independence scares them because they need you to need them. You can't just want them. They need you desperate. Desperate women make poor choices. Desperate women settle for men like them. Men who have nothing to offer are truly threatened by a woman's independence. They want to get back to the days where women needed permission from men to do everything. They want to get back to the days where all she did was be quiet and cook and clean. They don't want you to have a voice. Them wanting to return back to the days of the 50s and 60s is not about family. It's about control. This is the biggest thing that men get wrong in marriage. Some men think that they don't have to do household chores. That's the wife's responsibility. The wife is going to resent a husband who doesn't help, who doesn't cook, who doesn't do laundry, who doesn't help with the kids. That resentment will lead to the end of your marriage. Even if you make all the money for the family, you still got to contribute at home. You still got to help your wife out at home. As a divorce lawyer, I can't tell you how many times I've heard these complaints from my female clients. This is a red flag you need to look out for if you're going to get married and have kids because, my goodness, my friends are going through it right now. So I'm talking to my friend who's trying to conceive and she's in the car with her husband and, or no, sorry, not husband, boyfriend, not even fiance yet. And they're talking about having kids and she brings up having a nanny. And he immediately goes, I can't stand women who don't want to raise their own children. I mean, huge red flag, even in the way that he just talked to her, I think that was completely inappropriate. But she should have known this was coming because months prior, she brought up the housekeeper conversation and he goes, oh, housekeeper, why would I need a housekeeper when you work from home? This is such a red flag. But a lot of men actually want a modern day slaves, so when you're dating someone very early on, there's ways you can definitely ask this, but bring up the housekeeper conversation 
bring up the nanny conversation and even for me like I pretty much all date guys who own their own homes if they don't have a housekeeper already side eye a lot of men had mothers who were so self-sacrificing especially especially black men that they don't even know what it looks like to have a regular amount of help what is the most romantic thing a man can do for a woman and what's the most romantic thing a woman can do for a man okay a so i'd say the most romantic thing i'll use my own marriage for instance obviously for a woman being able to cook and clean but i'll give some more specific examples like what i do i wake my husband up with a massage and coffee every single morning and every single night i'm scratching his um scalp and like giving him a back massage until he falls asleep it's important that he falls asleep first and I would say something that's romantic that he does for me. Well, since I do all of the cooking, it's nice when he takes me out for dinner because it's like a, a little break and it's just special. And then also even just while we're here in Miami, he's kind of like my little bodyguard, like making sure if there's any men walking by, he's just like puts his arm around me and just making sure that I'm protected. That's what that's really romantic. And that's something that a woman could never do for a man. W. Are men intentionally enslaving women with household chores? Are men intentionally being lazy? Are they intentionally refusing to assist with household chores? A lot of men believe that when it comes to household chores, that is where the woman belongs. They have nothing to do with household chores. It's not manly for a man to do household chores. A lot of men out there have that mindset, have that mentality. And I don't think we should blame men that think that way alone. We should blame the society and also the those men's mom. Because who brought them up? Who raised them should be the question. How were they raised? Some men are very dirty. I just want to put this out there. Some men are very dirty. You can't go to their house and breathe fresh air. They don't do their dishes. They don't wash their beddings some men are dirty i'm not even talking about those dirty men i'm talking about those men that when they live by themselves they will clean up they will do the chores but once they have a woman around they hands up and they don't want to do anything they become lazy automatically why is it like that why is it like that in nigeria a lot of men believe that it's not manly for a man to be found cooking in the kitchen. It's not manly for a man to be in the kitchen assisting his wife with chores. It's not manly for a man to be seen sweeping the house, mopping the floor. A lot of men reason that way. Not all men, but a lot of men. And some people, it's part of your tradition. Even in a situation where the man is not being man enough, the man is not footing his bills, and you have the woman still working at home doing the house chores and going out there to work they still have the same mentality they expect the woman to do everything at home and, and still go out there to work and still contribute money to the running of a family some people are naturally programmed that way some men are naturally programmed that way and this stems from how they were brought up in such homes in nigeria where these kind of men were brought up you would realize that the girl child were being forced to do the house chores while they were growing up and then you have the male child because they are they are the golden children you you would have them play video game all all the time not assisting with house chores and you would have their mom telling them oh you're the man the woman is supposed to serve you you don't have any business with it with the kitchen and then when you train up a child like that what then do you expect the child to become when the child grows up the child is going to be what you put in them because you have inculcated a lot of teachings a lot of doctrines into this child and when the child grows the child is not going to depart from that so when they start leaving out what you told them to to be you as a child and then you the, the same women will come and they'll start screaming oh and um, men are like this it's crazy i know men also play a huge role when it comes to bringing up a child but mostly the kids spend more time with the women than they spend much more time with the men so that's why i'm blaming women more than i'm blaming men i think we should face a problem from the root and mostly it has to do with the upbringing of that child of that son and women should do better when it comes to bringing up their children why is it that if a man shares his home with a woman he expects her to be his servant but if a buddy of wants to rent a room he'll charge him a set amount of money here's the interesting thing Men are unfair in this because they do not realize that by expecting a woman to clean their house, perform all of those activities in the bedroom, and generally, and then share the same room, you see, that is a much shittier deal than if they were to just rent a room. 
Legitimately speaking, think of it like this. I, I know people who've done this with their buddies. They'd be like, okay, I'm going to rent a room. He can't make it. So I ask him three times a week to clean up, picks up after everybody, cleans the dishes, does the vacuuming, does everything else. And he realizes it's cheaper to just have the guy staying in the spare room. And the guy has his own space, okay? His own space, his own bed. So he has that room and three times a week he cleans just like he was a maid servant, right? Okay, because the guy knows that doing that, if he was to hire a housekeeper, it's actually more expensive than if he just had his buddy do it. And his buddy's like, fine, okay. Now, same dude, if he brought in a woman, would expect her to share a bed, not have her own personal space, but to share it with him. So she doesn't even get her space, has to do all kinds of activities that are going to cost a lot if you hire a professional in that bedroom, if you know what I'm saying. Plus, clean up the same amount, if not more so, and then on top of that, cook him meals. And then turns around and thinks, well, that's because I'm giving this woman a place to live. But the very same dynamic, if you did it to a friend, would be much less work and you get your own bedroom. Why is it that men think this way and then don't realize the deal they're getting? Or do they? But why do we treat women so shittily? Shouldn't we be treating the people who are doing the bedroom activities and then also maybe making us some nice meals? Shouldn't they be getting like queen treatment versus complained about? I don't know. What do you think? Guys, if you ever catch your wife saying something to a group of her friends or peers or colleagues or whatever, something along the lines of, oh God, if anything were to happen to me, I feel sorry for my husband. Oh, he'll just probably die of starvation. He won't be able to take care of himself. He can't do anything for himself. He, he'll be completely helpless without me. If you ever catch her saying that and there's a, you know, a grain of truth to it, nah, that's not good. You need to be an autonomous human being, an adult, in other words. My background is that I was uh, raised by two parents who worked a lot. And something that my parents instilled in me, thankfully, was uh, basically learn how to take care of yourself and how to do a lot of the, uh, basically, house duty stuff all by yourself. So as a kid, I did laundry, cooked for myself, ironed clothes, etc. It wasn't looked at as some kind of feminine thing that I was doing. It was just learn to take care of yourself, dude. You're a big boy now. You don't need mom and dad to do all that stuff for you. Same kind of thing with men. There are a lot of men out there that are still operating in a very um, old-timey kind of paradigm where it's uh, husband works, wife stays home, and does housework. That's kind of the, the understanding in the world. They're probably their parents did it and their grandparents, etc. But, but even though his wife works just as much, if not more than the man, even though the wife makes a ton of money, probably even more than the man, the man still sees it as well. A lot of that stuff is just kind of feminine in nature that work. You know, the mopping of the floors and dusting and so forth. Nah, eh, I'm a dude. I don't do that kind of stuff. That's not good. You're kind of hiding behind this, this facade of masculinity that men don't do that kind of stuff. And what's ironic is that you're making yourself less masculine and more dependent upon mommy, a.k.a. your wife, to do very basic stuff. Ladies, close your ears for a second. Guys. This shit is not hard at all, okay? Take it from a guy who's been doing this kind of stuff basically my whole life. These are the signs of a lazy ass man. He sleep all damn day. He ain't cook nothing, ain't clean nothing. Playing games all day, food all over the couch. If his mama didn't make him clean up, how in the hell you gonna make him do it? You just take care of somebody else's child. Number two, he complain about paying the bills. When he stayed with his mama, all he had to do was eat shit and go outside. He think he can do it with you. Stop being so damn nice. Tell his ass to pay or find somewhere else to stay. Number three, you gotta pump your own gas while he's sitting in the car. It's a damn shame it be cold outside. That man in the car on his phone, she out there freezing, pumping about $15 of gas, he gonna burn out. He don't care about you catching the cold as long as he can use that car to hit the road. Number four, he don't want to keep the kids. You want to go out with your friends. So you said, watch the baby for a couple of hours. He can't. But when he want to go somewhere, he goes somewhere. You stuck at home with the kids. You can't have no good time. If a man can't meet you halfway, 
put his ass out all the way let's talk about basic life skills that a normal human being is supposed to have for survival and it's sad to know that a lot of men lack that a lot of men out there don't have the basic life skills the basic skills you need to survive as a human but they depend a lot on women for that for women to come true for them when it comes to the whole survival life skills and all that so i would just have a quick conversation on that then i'll move on to the next video and hear what people have to say about it we'll talk about the communication skills a lot of men are so bad at communicating they don't know how to express themselves i don't know if i'm going to blame it on the men or on the society i think at this point in time men should start taking responsibility for their shortcomings you can't be heaping the blames on the society all the time if you are an adult you have the opportunity to change your ways and do better you have the opportunity to learn and unlearn bad behavior so if you still have that bad communication skill then it's on you and not on the society critical thinking some men are not good at it i'm not saying all men some men are not good at critical thinking problem solving they are supposed to be the leaders of the home but some men when it comes to solving problems they are nowhere to be found and you always see the woman in front solving the problem the woman in front thinking critically just to solve problems at home a lot of men are not good at that area i don't know if they are scared of it or they lack the skill my focus here is in a household setting not in a workplace setting so the organization skills i'm talking about a lot of men don't have it when it comes to the house when it comes to arranging the house and putting things together they don't have it but when they go to their workplace you would see them doing the most there i don't know if they are being pretentious or i don't know i don't know what to make out of that but we'll see, we, we see that a lot a lot of men lack emotional intelligence that's the truth a lot of men are cold when it comes to their emotions they don't know how to tap into someone else's emotion they don't know how to be sensitive to someone else's emotion how to understand how the person feels and what to say and what not to say a lot of men are struggling with that not just men alone it's both gender i'm just focusing on men alone because this video has to do with men the most for now a lot of men don't know how to cook they depend on women to eat which is bad it's appalling because as a human being you should know how to cook that is a survival skill you should know how to cook you should know how to feed yourself you should not depend on the next person to feed you if you're not a child if you're not a baby as long as you are an adult you should be able to know how to cook but a lot of men don't know how to cook and they will tell you oh uh, we can always buy food i'm not saying you must cook for a family to function but at least this is just basic skills just learn it it's not hard learn how to cook and you can learn that online we have youtube we have a lot of platforms where people learn things for free you don't even need to pay any money to learn personal hygiene some men are so dirty you go to where they live you cannot breathe some men don't take care of themselves some men depend on their women their wives to do their laundry a man will come into the house take off his shoes and he leaves it there for his slave the wife to come pick it up do the laundry iron it and then he wakes up the next morning with iron clothes he wears the clothes and goes to work i don't get it what kind of princess treatment is that a lot of women out there are just unintentionally enslaving themselves and giving their husbands kingly treatment that they don't even deserve some men don't care about your health they don't care about self-care talk about going to a therapist oh why should i go meet a therapist oh mental health they don't want to hear about that going to the list i have you can see that a lot of men lack basic life skills and i think this is something that parents need to hold on to if you're bringing up a child especially the male child you need to instill all them skills in those kids because it's important as a human being it's important you cannot depend on the next person to survive it doesn't make sense let's hear what people have to say <laughs> sometimes i get sent out with a shopping list and my wife's like do you want me to explain that to you and i'm like i think i can handle it and then i get to the grocery store and i'm like what is a shallot you know what i'm saying how many avocados is avocados like if i mess that up are we going to be eating guacamole for the next week apples cinnamon shit take mushrooms that's a little rude tomato sauce, dill weed, what, what aisle is that in? Milk, 
that's that's way too vague okay in my house we go through stuff like oat milk soy milk rice milk coconut milk almond milk every kind of milk the only kind of milk we don't drink is milk okay I don't I don't even know what milk tastes like anymore how do you milk an almond I this is gonna take me an hour and a half to find all this stuff I should have asked more questions okay thanks bye at this point you get the gist it doesn't get any better from there. What do you think it feels like carrying that mental load around? Let's just think of the prep that went into uh, making the list that she did. So she had to take inventory of what was currently in stock and what was currently out of stock. She had to find meals that were going to be made for the upcoming time period. She then had to write down the ingredients that would be needed and then compare that to the things that were already in the house so she wasn't rebuying things that they already had in stock. Then she likely considered herself and her partner by just thinking about things that might just sound good in general but might not be um, part of the necessities. Then she had to sit down and make the list. Then she had to go through and find every picture that would be at Trader Joe's specifically. She had to culminate that and then send it to her partner. I won't pretend to know how long that all took, but then she had to preemptively expect the questions that would inevitably come once he left to go to the store, even before he got to the store. So not only is she doing all the heavy mental lifting in the upfront, she is now also doing it during the shopping period. This is what happens <laughs> when women say, it's just easier for me to do it myself because this took her so much more work than it would have had she just done it herself. Because chances are she's been doing it for herself for a very long time, so she's already got kind of this like running inventory, knows what we need, doesn't need to look for pictures, doesn't have to like make an aisle map of where things are specifically. She can just go do it, get it done in a very short amount of time. It takes very little lifting on her part to do it herself. Women should not be expected to have to educate men on these types of basic, basic, bare minimum life skills. If you have lived with a partner for any amount of time, you should know the type of food that is bought in order to feed you two. It should not be expected that women continue to educate men on basic human skills, like grocery shopping, like meal prep and planning, like basic consideration for your partner in the home that you share together. We don't know if she found that whole process to be worth it to um, do it over again. We don't know if she feels um, confident that her partner could do it again. But then we have to ask ourselves, how many more times would she have to do that continued heavy lifting in order for him to get it, to be able to send him out on his own, have him make the list, have him do the inventory, have him go out and get the food that's necessary, get the essentials that are necessary. These are not things that we should have to teach men, boys, over the age of, I'll be generous here, 18. It should never be expected that your partner carry that amount of mental labor all on their own and then provide even more additional labor in order to teach another adult how to do basic life skills. Yet women are still expected to do those things and then expected to just smile and be thankful that they even have a partner who's willing to go to the grocery store and shop for these things, even if that means they didn't get everything on the list or they didn't get the correct items on the list. Society simply expects women to be grateful that men provide any sort of help or assistance in basic domestic labor. Being the domestic engineer of a home is one of the most, if not the most, exhausting titles women hold. And what makes it even more exhausting is having to handhold your partner in order to pass off a task to them to do it to the standard to which you have done it forever. Nobody has ever said to me, Abby, your husband is so lucky to have you. He's so blessed to have you as an equal and active participant in the home that you share together. 
nobody has ever said that to me and has probably never said that to my husband either. You're so lucky that your wife helps you around the house. You're so lucky that your wife babysits the kids for you so that you can go and play golf. I get told constantly how amazing my husband is, how blessed I am that I have a husband who participates in the home, who shares the domestic load equally with me. I get told constantly that um, I shouldn't take it for granted. And I, again, I'm blessed. Can I Question for all you stay at home moms out there. I've been staying home with these two hooligans while my wife goes back to work and is training right now. And I'm just wondering, when do you have time to poop? If I leave them by themselves for two seconds, she's gonna whack him. No. Or she's gonna throw all my folded laundry all over the room. The struggle is real. My favorite thing about being a stay-at-home dad mom is that I have five million things to do. I'm overly caffeinated. Uh, I don't actually get anything done. I feel like I have ADHD. I have 10 million ideas and I don't know which one I'm supposed to do. All I end up doing is, again, drinking too much coffee, making a really shitty lunch for a toddler who's not gonna eat it, and then what happens is I eat it when it's cold and then I, I give up. If your kids aren't doing chores, you are ruining their life. When they get to be about, I don't know, mid-20s, 30s, uh, they're gonna end up getting divorced and here's why. They're going to think that it is their partner's responsibility to clean the house. And eventually, their partner is going to get fed up with that, and they are going to leave. And most people, especially men, do not do well if they don't have a partner. So you definitely need to make sure that your little boys are doing chores. But that's normal. It's expected. It's just a part of life. Picking up after them all the time, doing everything for them is not helping them it's helping you because it's easier for you to do it than for you to get them to do it they have successfully thrown enough of a fit that they've manipulated you they've learned that they can manipulate people at a very early age and now they're going to continue this manipulation they, they think they can manipulate you surely they can manipulate their partner and they're going to manipulate their partner into being lazy continuing to leave out messes leave out crap everywhere and just expect their partner to clean it up one day partner is going to just leave. Start young. Maybe not that young, but maybe three. Good time to start doing some chores. Start light. Start lovingly. Start with things that they can do. Give them lots of encouragement. Build them up. Slowly increase the responsibility as they can handle it. So guys, this is all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and bye.